In a world with dreams and aspirations, there exists an iconic figure who's captured the hearts of generations, encouraging young minds to dream beyond boundaries and imagine a world of infinite possibilities. Meet Barbie, who's not just a doll, but a symbol of empowerment, creativity, and the power of imagination. Let us take a journey back in time today to discover the fascinating story of Barbie. In this creative and exciting toy industry, one visionary woman who is very creative, willing to discover new things and believes in the potential of young girls, sparked the creation of a brand that would stand the test of time and become a beacon of inspiration. From humble beginnings, Barbie has grown into a cultural icon, leaving an unforgettable mark on the hearts of children worldwide. Her journey is a tale of courage, resilience, and the unwavering determination to empower girls to embrace their dreams and manifest them into reality. And this woman is Ruth Handler, the co-founder of Barbie. She was born on November 4, 1916 in Denver, Colorado, USA, and she was the youngest of 10 children in a Polish Jewish immigrant family. Ruth grew up during the Great Depression, which had a profound impact on her resilience and determination. From an early age, Ruth showed an entrepreneurial spirit. As a child, Ruth had a special gift and she could make beautiful cards with colorful pictures and heartfelt messages. And she would eagerly pass around her colorful creations, delighting in the smiles and laughter that they brought to her loved ones' faces. But life wasn't always easy for Ruth, as she grew up during a time where many people faced challenges because of the Great Depression. This was a time of economic hardship and financial instability in the United States, and millions of people lost their jobs, and many families were forced to live in poverty. Despite the hardships though, Ruth never gave up on her passion for creating and sharing her cards, and after graduating from high school, Ruth attended the University of Denver, but left before completing her degree to pursue other opportunities. In 1938, Ruth married Elliot Handler, and together they had two children, Barbara and Kenneth. Living together, Ruth and Elliot co-founded a small picture frame business called Maddle Creations in their garage, and they came up with the name Maddle by combining their names Math and Matheson, which is Elliot's last name, and L from Elliot. The company they created initially focused on making picture frames, but they soon expanded into producing dollhouse furniture. And in the 1950s, Ruth would see her daughter who loves to play with dolls, but as she watched her daughter Barbara immerse herself in the world of imagination, a spark ignited within Ruth's heart. She saw her daughter's eyes light up with wonder as she pretended her paper dolls were grown-ups, living exciting lives and wearing fashionable outfits. She even makes her paper dolls play adult roles like doctors, lawyers, or astronauts. Handler realized that there was a gap in the market for a doll that could let girls imagine themselves in adult roles, and at the time, most dolls on the market were baby dolls or toddler dolls, and there were no dolls that represented adult women, and Handler felt as though this was a missed opportunity. The thing that actually made Ruth happy was to make others happy, and now that she saw her daughter, she believed the girls needed a doll that could inspire them to dream big, be happy, and imagine themselves in any role that they wanted. Handler took her idea to her husband Elliot, who was a co-founder of the Maddle Toy Company. Elliot was kind of uncertain, but Handler was very persistent and willing to take a risk to make her daughter's and other girls' dream come true, and she eventually convinced him to give her idea a try. She thought it was a good idea, and I didn't think it was a great idea because Ideal Choi at that time had uh, a line of small dolls, and they were dressed up, but they were kind of 12-year-old 12, 12 dolls, you know, uh, that, that kind of a doll. And they had a long run, but it was dying out, and it just wasn't very successful. And I looked at that, and I said, why would we be coming in at this time when that type of product is not doing well. While on a trip in Europe in 1956, Ruth met a German doll maker, Bill Lilly, based on a bold comic strip character, and when Ruth saw the doll, she was fascinated by Bill Lilly's fashion and style, and she couldn't wait to tell her husband. When Ruth returned home, she excitedly shared how inspiring Bill Lilly's fashion and style were to her husband Elliot, and she described how Bill Lilly's appearance could be the inspiration for a new kind of doll that she was planning to take a risk on, one that would represent a positive and aspirational image for girls. She envisioned a doll that could be a role model, showing girls that they could be anything they wanted to be, and the fashionable appearance of Bill Lilly inspired Ruth's vision of a doll that would empower girls with aspirational play. When his wife Ruth told him this, Elliot was amazed and interested in his wife's idea and believed in her vision. He encouraged her to explore the concept further and see if they could turn it into reality. Together, they gathered their team at Maddle and started to brainstorm. Ruth and Elliot knew that creating a doll like this was not going to be easy, 
but they were willing to do anything they could to make their vision a reality. Their first plan was the design. They decided to be careful with the design and make sure the doll was appropriate and inspiring for young girls, and they wanted to give her a name that would resonate with their own daughter, Barbara. Upon returning to the US, Ruth and Elliot Handler, along with the help of the model design team, began developing the prototype for a new doll. They wanted the doll to represent aspirational adulthood, challenging the traditional roles of baby dolls and paper dolls. They worked hard several times with many trials, and then the first Barbie doll was finally ready for the world. Barbie, you're beautiful. You make me see my Barbie doll. After much hard work and dedication, the first Barbie doll was born and she was named after Ruth's daughter, Barbara, and she was everything that they hoped for. A symbol of empowerment, fashion, and limitless possibilities. And finally, on that unforgettable day in 1959, the world met Barbie for the very first time, and with her fashionable attire and extensive wardrobe, she dazzled everyone who laid eyes on her. The name Barbie symbolized not only Ruth's love for her daughter, but also the doll's mission to inspire girls to reach for the stars. Children's dolls were not really that detailed and age-inclusive, and most of them were for toddlers and babies, and for that reason, many parents were hesitant about an adult-like doll for children. Barbie's unique features and wardrobe resonated with young girls, and within a year of her launch, Barbie's sales reached over 3 million, marking the beginning of her remarkable journey toward fame. After the initial success of Barbie, Ruth and Elliot's determination didn't stop there. Mattel continued to innovate and expand their brand, and they introduced new versions of Barbie, including different hair colors, ethnicities, and professions, allowing girls to imagine a wide variety of roles and careers. And over the years, Barbie has been a doctor, astronaut, teacher, president, and many other occupations, reflecting the challenging times and encouraging girls to dream big. Through collaborations and partnerships, Barbie's impact started expanding even further, and Ruth and Elliot always believed in the power of teamwork, so by uniting renowned designers and influential figures, they started making Barbie a more inspiring figure. Barbie quickly became a global phenomenon by spreading its sales to many countries around the world, and Mattel assured the Barbie dolls reflected diverse cultures and ethnicities to appeal to a wide range of audiences globally. To maintain Barbie's popularity even more, Mattel started contributing with famous designers and celebrities to create special edition Barbies based on iconic characters and personalities. These collaborations helped keep Barbie relevant and appealing to a new generation of children. To make the Barbie brand more known and successful, Mattel had a number of partnerships and deals that have helped make the brand successful and broad. One of the things Mattel did was have a fashion partnership, and Mattel then partnered with a number of high-end fashion brands such as Moschinel, Oscar de la Renta, and Christian Louboutin to create limited edition Barbie dolls. These partnerships Mattel made helped them bring Barbie into the world of high fashion and make her a more desirable collectible. Then Mattel made licensing deals, and Mattel had licensed the Barbie doll to a wide range of other companies, including clothing retailers, toy makers, and even food companies, and this deal that was made allowed Barbie to reach a wider audience and become a more ubiquitous part of popular culture. To make the Barbie brand more known and to attract attention, Mattel has collaborated with a number of celebrities such as Zandaya, Bobby Brown, Selena Gomez, to create Barbie dolls in their likeness, and these collaborations with Mattel have helped make Barbie more relevant to the younger generation and appeal to a wider range of interests. Mattel did not stop there. In addition to the partnerships he made, Mattel decided to make a number of strategic decisions that would help him make Barbie a more successful brand. And Mattel has been constantly innovating the Barbie brand, introducing new products and features that appeal to a changing audience. Mattel then introduced Barbie in a variety of skin tones, body types, and professions, and Mattel and his wife Ruth were also great entrepreneurs with high risk-taking skills, so they started investing in marketing, and Mattel invested heavily in the marketing of the Barbie brand, ensuring that it's visible in a variety of media, and this helped to create awareness of the brand and make it a household name. A crucial strategic decision was to build a strong brand identity, and Mattel had built a strong identity for Barbie based on the values of empowerment, self-expression, and diversity. And this helped make Barbie a popular aspirational brand for girls all around the world. The partnership deals that Mattel had made have played a significant role in the success of the Barbie brand, and these partnerships have helped Barbie enter new markets, reach new audiences, and stay relevant in the changing world. As technology advances, Mattel believed that it had to expand and advance the Barbie brand to adopt to the digital age, so they decided to launch Barbie-themed video games and apps and an animated web series expanding Barbie's presence into the digital realm.
Throughout her journey, Barbie has faced criticism for promoting unrealistic beauty standards and gender stereotypes, and this doesn't make them give up. Rather, in response to such concerns, Mano introduced a more diverse body type and skin tone, showcasing a commitment to the inclusion and positive representation that their company stands for. Despite controversies, Barbie has remained a beloved brand for decades, symbolizing empowerment, creativity, and imagination for millions of children worldwide. Her enduring legacy continues to inspire generations of young girls to dream big and reach for the stars. Barbie is a cultural icon that's inspired millions of young girls to dream big and envision limitless possibilities for their futures, and since the inception of the idea in the mind of Ruth Handler, the Barbie brand has evolved and grown to become a global phenomenon. Barbie is now sold in over 150 countries around the world and is the most popular doll in the world. Her story is a testament to the power of innovation, creativity, and determination, and Madeline and Ruth worked really hard to bring their vision to life and their creation has done just that, and Barbie's brand reminds us that the world is ours to shape, and our dreams are the guiding stars that lead us to greatness, and if you have a dream, don't give up, and Barbie is proof that anything is possible if you work hard and never give up. Yay!